In this video, we we'll go through the process of creating two surface models and creating some contour lines. Surface creation tools on the surfaces ribbon. First tool on the ribbon is create surface. Give the surface a name. Optionally give the surface a classification and a color. The members or the objects on the drawing to form the surface can be selected graphically in a view, such as a plan view, or using one of the selection tools available from the pop-up menu here. Take select tool as an example and hit OK. Triangulation will occur that includes all the data selected, the main site area here, plus the stockpile. If I zoom into the edge of the model and click, I can see there is a, a line that encapsulates the main area of this site. A closed polygon like that, it's possible to add as a boundary either an external boundary, as would be the case with this polyline, or an internal boundary, which will push a hole or an island into the surface model. In this case, use this polyline to define the edge of the main site area. Go to Surface Boundaries, click Add, and that will then act as a boundary and a break line, preventing any further triangulation outside of the line. This, of course, leaves the stockpile untriangulated now. Take a slightly different approach to creating this surface. At the base of the screen, the base of the TBC interface, there are two buttons that switch between polygon select mode and rectangle select mode. In polygon select mode, it's a left click on the mouse and a drag to start the polygon, and then just a left click to complete with a double click to finish. That's selected all the data relating to the stockpile. You can go back to create surface. And create this as a new surface. To visualize the shape of the surface, there is the 3D view. There's also the surface slicer view to give a quick dynamic section through the surface model. It's a single click and then move the mouse to reposition the slicing line across the model. To leave the line in position, make a second left mouse click. To create contour lines, so create contours button here on the right of the ribbon. Pick the surface the contours are going to be generated against. Give a name for an entry in the project. Contour interval, the vertical contour interval. This model is relatively flat, so I'll put in a fine interval. Index contour frequency, so the index contour will be the one that's labelled and also optionally shaded in a different colour to help accentuate the representation of the terrain by the contours. Pick a layer for the output contours. Colouring can be by layer, or it's possible to pick a specific colour from the list, as goes with the line weight. 
the index contour color. Let's pick an alternative color. Maybe a dark gray. Smooth the contours. It is possible to shade the contours so they're shaded by elevation. This button is ticked. Pick a font to use. to annotate the contours, a distance between the labels. When everything is set, just hit OK. Then the contour lines will be formed as per the settings. Might be a little bit easier to see if I turn off the actual model so using the view filter manager turn off the triangles in order to visualize the model via the contours there's a straightforward earthworks report button over here on the right too to generate a quick volume and area report for a surface model or combination of models these are the options, stop pile depression, surface to surface cut fill type modeling, surface to an elevation or a surface to a datum level essentially. Again, pick the surface, in this case I want the stop pile. I'm not going to select any materials, do a volume total only rather than by depth increment and tap OK. And here is my volume report. 192 cube with an area of approximately 141 meters squared. Maximum depth of the stockpile 2.697. So there's a quick run through of how to create surface models. Basic editing by adding a surface boundary string generating contour lines, and then a volume report.